Hello, my name is Ricky, and you are watching Lowe's How To Anything. Now, have you ever wanted to add a little color and texture to the outside of your house? Well, window planner boxes are a perfect solution, and we're gonna install some in front of this house, so let's get started. So these are the windows where we are gonna install our window boxes, and these are the window boxes we picked up from Lowe's. Lowe's has tons of pre-made window box options, so you can pick the color, design, and style that's right for you. First, we wanna eye and measure our space. So I'll take these boxes. Perfect, now we wanna measure. Now my boxes are 35 inches wide, so I'm gonna measure about 70 inches. But because of this trim piece, it's about a two inch trim piece, I wanna leave a two inch gap between the two boxes. I think aesthetically that'll look a lot better. All right, so let's get to measuring. I've marked the ends of both of my wall boxes, and now I have to take the measurement of each window box, divide that into half, and then each half, divide that into half. And that's where I will install the included two wall brackets so we can have even distribution. And now I have my two marks of where my brackets are supposed to go. So what we wanna do is take a level, and make sure we're nice and level, line it up, make ourselves a mark, and that's where we're gonna put our brackets. Now what I would do is take my bracket, line it up, and if I see that line through those holes, I know I'm flush. So I'll mark it, drill it, and we'll put it in. A quick tip, when making the hole for your second bracket, you wanna get a level long enough to go from that first hole over to where you wanna mark your second hole to make sure that both of your brackets will be the same height. I now have all four of my spots marked, and we wanna pre-drill. As you can see, this house has wood siding. So if we attach the bracket directly to the house, it will angle. So we wanna get a nylon spacer to put right behind this top bracket, and that'll ensure that our bracket will be nice and level. We're also gonna use different screws than what came with the bracket. These are larger screws, and these are gonna be perfect to get in there and get some good bite into the wood. Now, if you're drilling into something like stucco, you wanna use wall anchors. But today, we're going directly into wood, so we're good. Perfect. Let's go do the other one. It's time to plant. Now when planting window boxes, I like to use the system Thriller, Filler, and Spiller. So our focal point will be our Thriller, and that is Cycleman for today. And then our Filler will be Lavender, and then our Spiller, which will go over the boxes, that'll be Periwinkle. Now let's add some soil. And you wanna make sure you add a nutrient-rich soil to help your flowers grow nice and big. All right, now first, I'm gonna add my thriller, and that will be the cycle. Make sure to turn your plant on its side while you're pulling it out. We wanna break up the bottom so we can get the roots exposed. We will put two of these in this box, one on each side. Okay, now it's time for our filler, and that will be our lavender. We wanna disperse the lavender throughout the box to fill in. Boy, that lavender smells good. 
And now we're gonna fill up the rest of the box with our spiller. Now that will go over the box. It'll be a beautiful showcase. And we are gonna use periwinkle. And there you have it. Our window boxes are done and I think they look beautiful. They just give a splash of color and life to everything. On the exterior of a home, it's gorgeous. Now, if you want to plant your own boxes, you can find everything you need at Lowe's or Lowe's.com. Now, while you're there, if you need some assistance, just talk to a Lowe's Red Vest associate and they'll be more than happy to assist you. Please like and subscribe down below. And in the comments, let us know what you want to see next on Lowe's How To Anything.